Hello teacher, hello classmates, my name is Roberto Ortiz and I am currently studying in the course Teaching Techniques and today I'm going to be talking about the topic small groups and partners. Teachers um, usually observe students who have difficulties in learning new topics, learning new lessons, or even learning new games. Now a teacher's goal is to help these students accomplish their needs, accomplish their desires in learning English. Now, one of the skills that I'm going to be talking about today that teachers use to help students accomplish their needs and their desires in learning English is called skill grouping. Now, what is skill grouping? Skill grouping is the act of arranging students in groups based on the need for instruction in a specific skill. Now, skill grouping is usually done for a short period of time, um, for usually um, a couple of lessons. Now, here's an example. Uh, students who are having trouble um, using quotation marks teacher tries to help them by arranging them into small groups. By arranging them into small groups, then the teacher can help them accomplish their needs, accomplish their desires, and learning the use of quotation marks. Um, they can talk about their difficulties, their problems that they might have when using um, quotation marks. The same goes with any other subject. Teachers use skill grouping. For example, in mathematics, in mathematics, a teacher uses skill grouping. Um, let's say that students are having trouble um, on the use of fractions. So a teacher uses skill grouping to help um, figure out the problems that they might encounter in the using uh, fractions. Okay. Another skill, strategy, technique that I'm going to be talking about today is called partner work. Now, what is partner work? Partner work is a form of cooperative learning that is particularly effective for English language learners. Now, it is effective because it is good for them to have verbal interaction with, with one another, um, to express themselves orally, to express their own ideas, their own thoughts, on the task that the teacher might have um, sent them to do. Um, let's say that one of the activities that the teacher sent them to do uh, is role play. So they have to work together to develop um, uh, a story in which they will have to talk to one another. So their responsibility on doing this activity correctly is all on them. So they have to work together as a team to do well in this activity. And the final skill strategy that I'm going to be talking about today is called peer tutoring. Now, what is peer tutoring? Peer tutoring is a strategy in which a student who has acquired certain skills can help another student, another classmate of theirs, who hasn't yet acquired this type of skill, who has certain difficulties um, acquiring this skill, um, can help them achieve this goal, achieve this skill. Um, how, can, um, how can the student help his or her classmate achieve um, this type of skill? Um, one of the ways uh, the student can help the classmate achieve uh, the skill is by, for example, helping them understand the meaning of the words, the meaning of the sentences, um, the meaning of, let's say, an instruction that the student hasn't understood and that the student who has achieved, uh, who has acquired certain skills has. They can help them by explaining the student in their first language. Now, in explaining the student in 
their first language. It can help them understand, comprehend the activity, and they can do the activity correctly this time without having any mistakes, without any, having any errors in working on the activity. So, in conclusion, all of these strategies are helpful in a classroom because it can really help students who are having difficulties. Thank you, um, teacher. Thank you, classmates. Thank you very much.